wish you had a skincare therapist bestie with over a decade of experience whisper skincare tips, ingredients, and solutions in your ear. Welcome to the Skin Coach in Georgia podcast. I am your host, Maya De Semini, a clinical esthetician and founder of Urban Skincare Clinic. Whether you're challenged with acne, rosacea, dark spots, or just want to learn how to maintain a healthy glow, this podcast is for you. Let's transform your skin one episode at a time. Well, hi there. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. This week, I'm joined with Megan, who shares her journey with rosacea. Rosacea typically appears after the age of 30 as a flushing or redness on the skin that's chronic. And like anyone else, Megan started to cover it up with makeup. And at some point, you know, you need to seek help. And fast forward 15 months later, now her skin has improved so much that now wearing makeup is an option rather than a security blanket. I hope you enjoy our conversation as much as I did. And without further ado, here is the interview. All right, Megan, welcome to the Skin Coach in Georgia podcast. Thank you so much for spending your time to do this. I really appreciate it. I kind of shared your story in the intro, but let's hear it from you. Tell us a little bit about your journey with rosacea and uh, when did it appear? Uh, well, thank you for having me and my, I've always had, you know, that slight little rosy cheek. So, you know, never really worried much about it as a teenager. Um, I turned 30 and it got more intense. And then I had my son in 2018 and that was, that was where it really just took off. And it was, so the redness just wasn't going away. That was my next question. How did it feel to have redness on your face that wouldn't go away or it was hard to cover up? So I've never been a makeup girl. Most makeup I wore was, you know, just eyeshadow mascara. That was about it. And uh, I got promoted into a management job in 2018 as well. So when I noticed my skin getting a lot more breakouts and those really big, nasty bumps under the skin and my skin was drying out because of the rosacea. And I mean, I just all the time looked like I had a sunburn and people would say, oh, have you been in the sun? And I'm like, well, no, not really. It's, you know, just my skin. Mm -hmm. So I learned how to apply makeup and unfortunately it was not what I wanted to do, but it did become an everyday full coverage thing just because I did become self-conscious of it. Sure. Yeah. It definitely affects just like any other skin condition. Like I personally, I'm acne prone. I used to suffer from adult cystic acne and I was very self-conscious. You couldn't tell I had acne because I would cover it up really well, but yeah, it definitely affects your self-esteem. All right. Did you seek help from a dermatologist or an esthetician? I did see, I started seeing you first. So in 2000 and let's see, this is 22. So 2021, January, I decided, okay, we need to do something because it's, it's only getting worse at this point. Mm -hmm. So I saw you in January, we did, you know, different peels and stuff. Mm-hmm. And you told me that you definitely recommended seeing the dermatologist that it was not something, you know, that we thought would just be settled by mm-hmm. esthetician care alone. Yes. So in May, I went to a dermatologist and did a couple of rounds of antibiotics by mouth. He did give me some topicals, but I didn't use them more than probably a month. I wasn't seeing that much. Um, improvement. I saw more improvement with my esthetician care Mm. than I did with, you know, the medicated prescription topicals. So, okay. 
Wonderful. What made you give Urban Skincare Clinic a try? And how has your experience been so far? I know you kind of said that, but uh, how has how has the know. journey been? <laughs> it's been great. I, my skin's done a 180. I don't really have breakouts anymore. Well, I say that, but I'm having an awful breakout right now. <laughs> but it's the first bad breakout I've had in a year and what? three months. That's, I feel like that's just part of being a woman. (laughs) So yes. So, you know, I, I will take it. It's better than it was Mm -hmm. in the winter. My skin would literally peel off my face by flakes. Mm -hmm. And I didn't experience that at all this year. So, you know, the image skincare line that you gave me, um, has been amazing. I use it every day. I'm very consistent. Don't miss and, you know, drink tons of water that helps with the hydration of my skin, keeping my pores, you know, looking good. But yeah, no, I came to you originally going back to that. Um, my friend, Angela Bailey, mm-hmm. she had always just recommended you and her face looks amazing. So I thought, you know, what do I have to lose? Oh my goodness. That's exactly right. What do you have to lose? That's awesome. One, I am so glad we met. So how long has it been since you've been receiving clinical treatments for your rosacea? January of 21. Awesome. Okay. A little over a year. How do you feel about your skin? How do you feel in your skin now? And kind of tell us since the audience, the listener can't see you. Tell us about the difference in your skin from we'll post your before and afters, but let's have you explain it to us. So like I said, my skin, I mean, I I look like I had a sunburn all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, and I had the acne that would never come to a head, but it was the really hard, like knots that you get on your face. And they were extremely painful. I mean, they hurt awfully. And, you know, I had them usually in the middle of my forehead and my cheeks. Mm -hmm. Uh, I never really got anything on my nose or my chin, but Mm -hmm. it was the cheeks and my forehead. And I mean, now, like I said, I haven't had a breakout. This is the first one that's kind of reminded me of, you know, what I saw over a year ago, Mm -hmm. but, um, it's been more centralized to the inside, I guess, of my cheek and my nose. Mm -hmm. So not all over my cheek, like it was before. Mm -hmm. And the intensity of my redness has definitely improved. I don't have to wear makeup every day. Uh, now I feel you know, definitely more confident in my skin than I had. And I mean, I let it go for years. I wished I would have, you know, seeked help sooner Mm -hmm. instead of just dealing with it. Yes, absolutely. Wonderful. Again, thank you so much for sharing your story. Now, do you have any advice for other women out there who are challenged with rosacea or a skin condition and they don't know what to do? So they do definitely nothing. don't wait, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> find you a great esthetician, listen to the recommendations and be consistent. Oh You've my got God. to have, you know, not the over the counter clinical washes and stuff. You got to have, you know, what you have there. You've got to have something Customized. that is, you know, customized to your skin's needs. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. This was fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And April is Rosacea Awareness Month. I'm not sure if you knew that. So that's a fun fact. All right, Megan, thanks again for coming on to the show. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. All right. Thanks. Ah, what a self-confidence boost when you feel good in your skin. I'm so happy for Megan and I'm so happy she took a chance and decided to seek help. Um, It's just, I think it's life-changing. Okay, before I let you go, I'd love to share our Mother's Day promotion. At the time of this recording, Mother's Day is two weeks away. Hard to believe, I know. This year, think about giving the gift of self-care and an experience 
which I personally believe has a longer lasting impact than an object. All right, so we're running a buy 100, give 100 promotion until May 6th, 2022. If you're a client of mine, I will be emailing you all the details. If you're not a client of mine, DM me on Facebook or Instagram, the words Mother's Day 2022, and I'll send you all the details. All right, ladies, take good care of yourselves, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.